This is how to make a contact sheet in Photoshop. You can use it as presentation for images or you can lay out instructions, a route map, whatever you want to do with it. But get all the images you want to use into a folder, rename the images uh, in alphabetical order if you can, and even if it's image A and a brief description after it, as long as it will sort itself into alphabetical order correctly, that's all you need to do. Alphabetical order works much better than numerical order, as I just discovered. Anyway, open up Photoshop, go to File, Automate, Contact Sheet 2. Now we're going to end up eventually with a sheet of A4, but I want to make it smaller to start with. Uh, we'll make it 21 by 21 centimetres instead of 21 by 29.7. I'll add the extra 8.7 centimetres on the bottom so there's going to be room to put some text in. So we're going to make three, three columns by four rows. Um, fits better that way with landscape images. If you've got portrait images, make it four by three. Or whatever fits for you. 8-bit colours fine. We don't want to flatten it. When we've got everything in, it will come in separate layers, just in case you need to move anything around. Much easier when it's, when it's in layers. We don't need to include any subfolders. We're just going to import the contents of a folder. I've already chosen the folder. It's an old calendar on which I re renamed the images in. So hit OK. And it'll trundle away. And trundle away. The trouble is, it's importing some quite chunky images from full size images from a Nikon D800 so they're uh, 7360 by 4912 pixels each so it's importing them and resizing them on the fly all 12 of them <laughs> so 12 to process 1236 megabyte images takes a bit of grunt so be patient Oh, here we go. Right, ignore the grid I've got over this. That's my default setting. So, Control H or Command H will get rid of the grid. Right, there we go. All in nice alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And that's it. Now, we want to come down to the bottom layer, the background, and just increase the size of, of the thing we're working with. So the canvas size we want to increase, and we want to increase it going downwards. Oink. Let's change it back to centimetres, so it all makes sense. So we want the new height, and don't tick relative. So the new height is 29.7. We uh, click on that, double check everything, click on that. Pop on. Uh, if I go con Control Zero or Command Zero on a Mac, I'll just resize it so you can see what you've got. Yeah. Uh, oops. Yeah. Everything to the right place. Go back to the background layer. Text. It's the same text <coughs> as I've got elsewhere, which is Marion in this case, regular 14 point. So we want our copy a little, little bigger than that. So let's do 18 point, and we want it all to align left. Well, I'm just going to drag out something control point there 
Oh, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to type in Mary had a little lamb. Two, three. Two, three, you. Oops. Oh, didn't mean to drag that out. Get back. Put it back where you want it. If you drag that guide in, it'll just bump up against it if you move it over slowly. So now, grab the text tool again. I'm just going to copy that. Just paste. Oops. I'll try copying that again. Command C or Control C, depending if it's a Mac or PC. And Command V or Control V. Paste it back in again. And now for a new line. One, two, three. Hold on, the phone's going. Hello? Oh dear. There you go. No, I didn't. Right, sorry about that. Phone, phones ring. I'll try and edit that out. So, just type your text in here. That's it. You can say you can save it as a TIFF or a PSD if you want to keep all the layers or you can go to file it won't let you hang on go to the top layer file export I'll go export as rather than a quick JPEG export as I mean, you're damn good thinking about it. JPEG, full quality. I've got my copyright in there. I'm going to save it as a sRGB. And when it's finished spinning, I'll embed the colour profile. I'll export it all. I'll stick it in the same. So it's named it contact sheet one. If you'd if you'd imported more than uh, the images you can fit on one sheet, it will produce two documents and number them sequentially. So you'd end up with contact sheet 001, two, three, etc. So I'm just going to save save that as a JPEG. It's done. I'm also going to save this as a PSD file. Save as and back in the same window. Um, well, Photoshop PSD, where are you? Photoshop right at the top. All right, and save. All right, close the file. And that's it. And you can edit the PSD away to the, your heart's content. You can move the images around if you want. Um, well, you can just print or publish the JPEGs. Easy as that. Thanks very much. Hope that helped. Sorry about, sorry about the phone ringing in the middle of all this. Bye.